Senior Dave Singleton helped lead the Albright College men's basketball team past league leaders Lycoming on Wednesday, 83 to 78. Lead changes were the name of the game as the Lions and Warriors swapped the lead 18 times, but it was that 18th lead change that gave the red and white the momentum that they would carry through the rest of the game. All five of Albright's starters were in double figures in this critical matchup. The Lions were led by Singleton who dropped a career-high 25 points, three of which came from a half-court heave at the end of the first half. Singleton also pulled down 12 rebounds to finish out the double-double. Lycoming cut it to one at the end of the first half, but Singleton hit a buzzer beater from half court as the Lions went into the locker room with a 38-34 advantage. Singleton nearly pulled off two of the nicest assists of the season, finding Jordan with less than five minutes left in the first half, but the basket was missed. He then found Pedro Perez through a crowd in the second half, but again the Lions couldn't get the shot to fall. With 12-18 to play, senior Zach Benjamin took to the post to score two of his 12 points with an easy layup to give the Lions a 66-65 lead, one that they would never surrender. The Lions would add on to that with baskets from junior guard Sam Morella and two hoops from Singleton to finish out a 9-0 Albright run and give the Red and White their largest lead of the night at 8 points, 73-65. With 58 seconds to go in the second half and the game still very much up in the air with the score 79-75, Singleton hit a step-back jumper with a defender in his face to put the game on ice for the Lions. Lycoming came into the contest leading the Commonwealth Conference standings while Albright trailed by a single game. But all that changed with a Lion victory that pulls them even with Lycoming in the standings. Albright still trails Alvernia by a half game, however, after the Crusaders won their game against Arcadia. The Lions will look to keep pace with both Lycoming and Alvernia on Saturday as they travel to face the pride of Widener in Chester, Pennsylvania at 3 p.m.